If you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm really into shadow work because I know that shadow work is just so important and that it's really helped me a lot in my life, more than magic has, to be honest with you. And this video, of course, is going to be a little bit more about shadow work and how you can work with some of the shadow stuff that comes up for you in a way that's actually quite easy for you, especially if you like to journal. But before I do that, Hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com and if you're new to the channel and you want to become a witch or a Wiccan, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. So in this video, I want to share with you an easy way that you can work with shadow work. Now, I've got a lot of other videos that give you some tips and techniques about how you can work with stuff that comes up from the shadow and how you can get to the stuff that's actually in your shadow. And this video is going to be another tool in your toolkit that you can use to help you with your self exploration to learn more about who you are and also so that you can step into who you really are rather than still feeling like you've got to be who you've been told you should be or who you believe you should be based on your past experiences. So with shadow work, you're looking at these aspects of yourself that are not acceptable to yourself and that haven't perhaps been acceptable in the greater uh, community either. Yet they're qualities that you do have because we all have them and they're qualities that if you don't get to know them and you don't integrate them are going to come up in your life in ways that are really unhelpful and really negative for you and you can get yourself into a lot of crap uh, with other people and situations when you aren't aware of the shadow stuff. Uh, because it's going to come up to the surface anyway it's just it's going to come up unconsciously rather than you being able to integrate it into your conscious life so i've said this before in other videos one of the best ways to find your shadow qualities is when other people present themselves to you in a way that's challenging you in some way so they might be a bully they might be a very critical person they may be somebody who's challenging you in some way they might be challenging your ideology they might be challenging your spiritual beliefs they might be challenging you um, in all sorts of various ways you can use these people as uh, opportunities to learn about yourself so that you no longer have to encounter these sorts of people again too much in your life and also that when you do encounter these people again in your life they don't push your buttons so much you can actually just go yeah whatever you know it's it's not a big deal they can say whatever they like and you're not really phased by it so that's the whole uh, beauty of shadow work is when you get to know all these parts of yourself it's very hard for other people to push your buttons which means it's harder then for you to get into those kinds of difficult situations uh, that can create a lot of really unnecessary conflict. So if you've got a person who's presenting themselves, say they're a bully, you know, say they're saying things, they're trying to bully you, then get out your journal and write down three things about that person that are annoying you, that are really peeving you that are pissing you off like <laughs> write down three adjectives describe that person three adjectives off the top of your head write them down in your journal and once you've done that take notice of the third one because the third one is actually the most is the one that's really important I don't know why that is it just seems to be the case that it's the third one that we come up with that's often the most potent then imagine that the person is in front of you and you're having a conversation with them. It's not that you're really having a conversation with this person. You're having a conversation with yourself that's kind of project a part of yourself that this person may be kind of representing or is actually in many ways helping you deal with. Okay, so see, don't see this person as being a problem see this person as being something that could be useful to you. You want to utilize everything that comes your way when you're on the magical path, because you, as a magician, as a witch, you're not a victim. So in order to not be a victim, it means that you have to be able to transform things in that alchemical way from being something that can be very negative and really bad into something that is positive and useful to you. So you become quite resourceful and almost somewhat of an opportunist in many ways because your refusal to be a victim 
because you want to stay in your power, um, it can really piss other people off. <laughs> so it's a good opportunity to be able to stand in your power and, and utilize this energy and turn it into something that's useful to you. Because not only will it be useful to you, in the long term, it can also be useful to the other person in a way as well. Because if they're not getting away with, no matter who they are or when they pop up, they'll learn their lesson soon enough. And you want to come away with a victory. So the next step is to have a conversation with this person in your imagination. And you can start the conversation by asking them what they're doing here. So why, why are you doing this to me right now? And just write down through automatic writing, like don't think, do, what the, the response is, the initial response to that is. And you can ask them any questions that you want. So it can be, uh, what have you come here to show me? Why are you doing this to me? What's in it for you? And ask them all of these questions. And then once you've done that, take a look at what you've written and also looking at those adjectives and just see where these things in, are in your life. Do you find your own negative self-talk also saying these things to you? And if you find that often you are bullying yourself and saying things like that to yourself at times, then you can see that this, this external bully may actually just be your internal bully manifesting in front of you so that you actually have an opportunity to start working on your internal bully because you most likely have an internal bully if there's a bully presenting themselves to you. So it's a wonderful opportunity uh, for you to get to know that internal bully and so that you can work with that through using other methods of uh, changing uh, your behavior towards yourself and your beliefs that may be causing the bullying in the first place. Another thing to look at with all of this stuff that you glean from doing this interview with the bully or whatever the person is, there may not be a bully, it may be another situation. It can be anything um, that's going on. Maybe you've got somebody who is a bit of a, has got a bit of a martyr complex and it's really annoying you. So you need to look at the martyr within you, that kind of thing. Look at areas in your life from maybe the past or the present and see whether the things that that bully has said and the adjectives apply to you. Either you've done it in the past, so maybe you've been the bully in the past, or maybe you haven't actually acted on the in the bully in the past, but maybe you've wanted to be the bully in the past, but you didn't go through with it because it didn't feel comfortable or right to you. You know, you, you, you do have a conscience and you didn't want it to, to be like that, but there's still a part of you that kind of wanted to. This is all part of shadow work. It's about getting to know this, this part of you and coming to terms with it and finding the strength in it. So once you've written all these things down, you've seen these parts of yourself that you may also be indulging in either outwardly or you may be doing it covertly or you may be doing it to yourself. Once you've got all of this information, then you can start looking at, well, what do I get from doing this? Now, when you interviewed, say, the bully, for example, and you asked them what they may, may be getting from this, like, what are you getting from this process? They may have come back to you with a really, really interesting response. So they may be saying, well, you know, by, by bullying you, I get to feel good about myself. Or by bullying you, I get to get what I want. Um, I get to maintain control or whatever the answer is. And this is a really important nugget of information for you because it enables you to see that there's a part of you that wants to have maybe some kind of control or to feel better about yourself or whatever it is, and then to look for the gift in that. So how can you assert uh, more autonomy over your life in a way that's positive, for example. So rather than bullying your way through life, trying to get control, how can you assert um, more autonomy over your life in a way that isn't so bullying? So that's where the gift is. It's that understanding that you have this energy to be able to be more autonomous or to be able to have more leadership or whatever it is going on for you 
but you just need to know how to utilize it and work with it in a way that's actually positive for you. And that's what integrating the shadow is all about. It's finding out what the, the shadow's doing in order to get your needs met, but doing it in a way that's actually helpful and positive to you and other people at the same time, giving you that more self, that self knowledge. And once you've come to terms with this aspect within yourself, then you'll find that the bullies will start to go away. Or if you do meet a bully, they're really not that effective at like that. It's really not, it doesn't push your buttons, but generally they'll, they'll leave you alone because they'll realize that you don't, you don't have that energy anymore. You're not necessarily going to learn anything from them anymore. So they're not going to come your way anymore. So, and the same with any other sort of personality that you find yourself regularly up against that annoys you. It might be somebody, as I say, with a martyr complex or um, all sorts of things. Uh, this is just an opportunity for you to get to know yourself. And of course, if you are on that shadow work journey and you're finding your, you're ready to actually work with somebody one-on-one -on -one to help you move through some of the inhibitions and stuff that's keeping you stuck in your life and stopping you from being able to really step out and express who you are in the world, then I do offer a free 30 minute clarity session and where we get together over Zoom and I ask you lots of questions to help you get clear about what it is that is keeping you stuck in your life. And that if, if there's an opportunity there for us to work together, then um, we talk about that as well. I'll put the link to that in the description field below this video. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.